Hey everybody, Jason here, back again on a Friday, which can only mean one thing. It is time for another installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail Friday. And you know the drill by now. Before we get into today's unboxings, if you happen to have anything you would like to send in to the Ghostbusters News Headquarters, we got a mailing address and it is down below in this video's description. Now, with all that said, uh, let's get to those unboxings. Our first piece of fan mail this week, uh, it's not a box, it's an envelope, and it was sent in from Eric Nelson in Metamora, Michigan. And, uh, oh, we, we, got some, we got some goodies in there. But uh, first, I, I do spy a letter. And the letter, it reads, Hello, Jason. Here is a few scratch-off Ghostbusters tickets from the state of Michigan. If you by chance win big, don't forget about us. Oh, this package, it was not just sent in by Eric, but also his family, Chantel and nine-year-old Karina. Ah, and Eric and Chantel, thank you so much for the lottery cards, which we're gonna take a look at here in a second. But first, check out this fan art by Karina. Looks amazing there, it says Ghostbusters news up top. We've got Slimer, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and also a Terror Dog. Again, Karina here, you did a wonderful job on these. They look great. Now fixating on the Ghostbusters lottery cards from Michigan Lottery. Uh, first here, we've got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. After that, the tricked out White Wall Cadillac, the Ecto-1. This really funky neon style rendition of Gozer's Chosen Minion, a Terror Dog. And then last, we've got Slimer here, who's just eyeing up a fat stack of cash. Now with these lottery cards, they are advertising that I could win up to half a million dollars, but uh, I, I gotta admit, the, the collector inside of me, um, it, it, it's not allowing me to, to, to scratch any of these. Okay, so up next, we've got a bag here, and it is from uh, Personal Orders. Okay, Personal Orders, that, that's not even a name. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is gonna be gonna be a mystery, a mystery piece of fan mail. Okay, so on the inside, uh, there's there's a T-shirt, there's some stickers, but there was also like an order form, and uh, there's actually a note on the order form. It reads, "Thanks for the help, GB News. We are cosplaying as Ghostbusters for the first time, and your channel helped make it possible. We came up with this logo and hope you like it. See you at the firehouse, Anthony and Archer." And Anthony and Archer, they're from nerdaffiliated.com. Right now, you're taking a look at their Instagram page. And now that I have these items in hand, yes, they actually did send me a message beforehand, giving me a heads up that they had sent something. And it appears they went through like a third-party printing site to, to send me this, hence why their name wasn't actually on the package. That makes sense. So as already alluded to here, there are some stickers on the inside, the nerd-affiliated logo, and also a Ghostbusters rendition of that. And keeping with that nerdy form of Moogly, that is what is on this t-shirt. And kudos to you guys, you got the sizing right here, as it is a large. Um, let me tell you, whenever I get a, a t-shirt as part of fan mail, and it's a, it's an extra large or double XL, my, my heart, it, it hurts, a, hurts a little bit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Up next here, we got a pretty fair size box, and this was sent in from Mario in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I know Mario, uh, he's a member of the Alberta Ghostbusters. Well, actually Mario, he's not just a member, he's also the president. Uh, that's an old Cy Sperling reference. Uh, you guys remember Cy Sperling from the 1990s? Ah, that's so cool. All right, first, uh, there, there, there's a letter. There's a letter I, I, I should uh, I have to read. Uh, it reads, Dear Jason, thank you for including the Alberta Ghostbusters in your Ghostbusters News Anthem music video. I remember it had so much fun filming video clips around Calgary. They were very proud of their contribution and they were pleased to see many others participate as well. We really appreciate everything that you do to support the Ghostbusters community. In addition to keeping us informed, thank you guys. Uh, honestly, though, I've seen your charity work and such. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you guys are, are a 10, 20, 30 times more amazing than, than I'll ever be. Thank you for sharing the love of Ghostbusters with us, along with a few other goodies. I've enclosed the laser-etched Ghostbusters news signs made by Ghostbusters Afterlife prop armor Ben Eady that you see us holding in the music video. Now, somehow you have yet to watch that music video. We released it uh, earlier this year as part of Ghostbusters Day. The song itself is performed by the Flux Capacitors, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much became the anthem, the theme song of Ghostbusters News. And right here, this is the Alberta Ghostbusters rocking out. You'll see there, that's the laser etched Ghostbusters News logo. And you'll see here, uh, yeah, now I've, I've got that laser etched Ghostbusters News logo. 
three of them. You know these are gonna get predominantly displayed here in the Ghostbusters News collection room. And again, to Mario, to Ben Eady, to everyone at the Alberta Ghostbusters, I just wanna send a huge thank you. You guys do amazing work as a fan franchise all around. Uh, you've been a supporter of Ghostbusters News for as long as I can remember. And your submissions, the videos that you sent in for that Ghostbusters News anthem, that music video, um, yeah, yeah, they were immeasurable. You helped out so much. Oh! Before I forget, uh, there's actually a few more goodies inside the box here from the Alberta Ghostbusters. This includes an array of stickers and buttons, both featuring their logo. There's also a few pins. Again, here, reusing that logo, we've got uh, Moogly in the great province of Alberta. And I said great province, but you know what? I love Alberta, which is why I'm so happy to also get this pin. And this one, it simply reads, I heart Alberta Ghostbusters. And what would fan mail from a fan franchise be, of course, without a patch? And then finally, we got this really slick looking coin. Uh, again, this one reads, Alberta Ghostbusters, supporting local charities. And then on the other side, it says, we're ready to believe you, and includes the imagery of Gozer's Temple Doors. It's also really shiny. Do you, do you see the shine coming off of it? So I may have already said this two or three times, but uh, yeah, Alberta Ghostbusters, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we've got another box here, and this is from Casey in Australia. And let me tell you, my excitement is through the roof because the uh, customs declaration, it reads toys and chocolate. But before we get to the toys and chocolate, uh, there is a letter here and it reads, Dear Jason, my name is Casey. I am nine years old and I live in Australia. I'm a huge fan of you and Ghostbusters. Thank you, Casey. I've seen all the Ghostbusters movies and watch all the Ghostbusters news videos on YouTube. My favorite movie is Ghostbusters 2. Casey, you and me, you and me, we, we're, we're ahead of everybody else. Ghostbusters 2, it is the best Ghostbusters movie. Goes on to read, my favorite Ghostbuster is Ray Stantz. Could, couldn't agree more. We're, we're, we're on the same wavelength here, Casey. And uh, the letter, it ends with, I have drawn a Ghostbusters 2 logo for you, the best logo. And I also made a ghost trap. I have also put in some Ghostbusters toys too. First, looking at the fan art, there it is, the Ghostbusters 2 logo, accompanied by the Ecto-1A license plate and up top there, you'll see we've got a ghost trap, a PKE meter, and the proton pack. There was also this Ghostbusters gift bag on the inside, which um, uh, I, I think it's like a fan design, but I, I'm totally enamored and, and in love, love with this bag. You got the caution stripe and the slime. And on the inside, here is that ghost trap that Casey made. And when you open it up on the inside, check it out, you're gonna see Slimer. And this fan mail, it totally delivers on the toys. We've got uh, these small figures of the Ghostbusters right here, Dr. Egon Spengler and Dr. Ray Stance. Of course, you need the other two uh, right here, Dr. Peter Venkman and Winston Zetamore. And not stopping there, Casey also included this one of Slimer and also the Ecto-1. And pairing up with that drawing of that Ecto-1 license plate we showed you a little earlier, check out this Ecto-1A. Also inside that Ghostbusters party bag, there is this Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man key ring. He's looking so happy. Small little plastic bracelet featuring the Ghostbusters logo, the Ecto-1, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, uh, the Ghostbusters themselves. We got Rowan there with a little bow tie and then also Slimer. And to help further show his love of Ray Stance, uh, Casey, he also included a Ray Stance name tag. Now, in no way Ghostbusters related, but being from Australia, Casey, he also sent in a couple of Australian delicacies, um, some, some chocolates. Right here, we've got the Cadbury Caramel Wallaby and also the Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramello Koala. The Caramello Koala, it is milk chocolate with smooth flowing caramel on the inside. Seven out of 10. Mm, eight out of 10. And then the Wallaby, it is a golden blend of caramelized white chocolate. All right, this is gonna be seven out of 10. Not as good as the Caramello Koala, but um, I could easily eat the entire bag. Which I'm probably going to. Oh, and there's one last uh, item in the box 
and uh, it's more chocolate. It's Tim Tams. Now, surprisingly, here in Canada, I actually have access to Tim Tams. Uh, my local Walmart, they have like an international candy section, and uh, yeah, they're included within there. But um, yeah, let me just say, 10 out of 10, these are, in my opinion, one of the best chocolate candy things anyone has ever made, anyone can ever eat. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a perfect treat. I'm gonna totally eat this whole thing today. Um, maybe, maybe they should have sent me a, like a, an extra large shirt and not a large because um, I've got some eating to do. Now we've got one more package to take a look at today and this one, it comes from Austin Brown in Great Britain. And let me tell you, Austin Brown, uh, he has been a long time supporter. I mean, long time supporter of Ghostbusters news. He's also a highly talented musician. In fact, many years ago, uh, we featured a song that he was a part of. Uh, it was for a, I believe it was a UK Ghostbusters fan film. Um, let's go ahead and play that. And what did Austin send in? Well, probably one of the coolest pieces of fan mail uh, I, I've ever I've ever received. Uh, it is a Ghostbusters Firehouse clapperboard. Obviously not one of the clapperboards, it's a recreation, but uh, yeah, this thing in hand, and I'm sure on video, uh, it looks amazing. It is made to match up to the one that's seen in that photo from the set of Ghostbusters Firehouse, uh, where Gil Kinnan, he's holding it. And this thing, I mean, it looks legit. Has the Firehouse uh, name there, the Ghostbusters logo. List Gil as the director. Uh, Eric Stilberg also has his credit. And then down below, uh, we've got this silhouette of New York. City. And uh, I, I have to do this. Action! Now, if you'd like to inquire about a clapperboard or check out Austin Brown's Ghostbusters page, uh, you can do so by finding him at Ecto1GB on either Facebook or Instagram. And you know, we've got those links down below in this video's description. So I think that just about does it for this monumental blockbuster sized installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail Friday. Again, a huge thank you to everyone that was featured. And as a reminder, if you happen to have anything you would like to send in to the Ghostbusters News headquarters, we got a mailing address and it can be found right down below in this video's description. One second. So good. I thank you so much for watching this one through to the end. Uh, as always, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below. And we'll see you right back here next time. Quarter hook and ladder company eight. Ghostbusters news is the keeper of the gate. Listen up, ghosts. Jason's here to seal your fate. After he gets all the day's updates off his plate.